Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. An ideal gas enclosed in a vertical cylindrical container supports a freely moving piston of mass m. The piston and the cylinder have equal cross sectional area capital A. While the piston is in equilibrium, the volume of the gas V0 and its pressure is P0. The piston is slightly displaced from the equilibrium position and released. Assuming that the system is completely isolated from its surroundings, the piston executes a simple harmonic motion with frequency. Here we have given four options. Option A, 1 upon 2 pi A gamma P naught upon V naught M. Option B, 1 upon 2 pi V naught M P naught upon A square gamma. Option C, 1 upon 2 pi root A square gamma P naught upon M V naught. Option D 1 upon 2 pi root m v naught a gamma p naught. Dear students, whenever we discuss about the simple harmonic motion, which is very important things, restoring force should be required. And in this case, in this situation, where we get from the restoring force, when a uh, container which is filled ideal gas, and we have to apply the force, and when release the force, that it regain its uh, initial position this is the restoring force so in this case here change in volume is uh, equal to area into x a into x okay and uh, this whole system is isolated it means adiabatic process and as you know that in thermodynamics for the adiabatic process the using the formula or equation p naught p naught raised to power gamma is equal to here pressure is increased it means p naught plus delta p and volume is decreased so therefore p naught minus delta v raised to power gamma here gamma is equal to we are well known about that gamma is equal to cp upon cd so here p naught p naught raised to power gamma is equal to p naught get common so 1 plus delta p by p and V naught get common, but here the power is gamma, so V naught is power gamma. 1 minus delta V upon V naught is to power gamma. So P naught, V naught is to power gamma is equal to P naught, V naught is to power gamma, 1 plus delta P by P, and using binomial theorem. What is binomial theorem? 1 plus 1 by X is to power N can be written as 1 plus n by x. So this binomial theorem we have to using 1 minus gamma delta v upon v naught. Here p naught v naught is to power gamma cancel out is one time cancel out and now multiply 1 minus 1 minus gamma delta v by v naught and plus delta p by p and minus gamma delta p delta v upon here p naught and v naught okay here delta p and delta v is very small so therefore its multiple can be neglected so this whole term can be neglected and it can be one and one cancel out so minus one minus gamma delta v upon v naught plus delta p upon p naught this term is neglected. Okay. Now, transposing the terms, delta P upon P naught is equal to gamma delta V upon P naught. Here, delta P can be written as gamma delta V upon V naught and P naught. This is delta P. Okay. 
Now, as we know that restoring force. What is the restoring force whenever we have to apply some force on a body? Body opposes this force. This opposes force is called restoring force. When we have to apply some force on the piston, then whole gas internal energy that regain again its initial position that is restoring force. So F is equal to delta P into A. This is negative because it is in opposite direction. Okay, so therefore delta P into A. Delta P we have shifted whole value, comma delta V P naught upon V naught, and this is A. Okay, here minus gamma A P naught upon V naught and delta V. You know that what is delta V? A into X, A into X, area into length that is the volume so here f is equal to minus gamma a square p naught v naught into x now as we know that here f is equal to mass into acceleration so minus gamma a square p naught upon v naught x okay now, acceleration can be written as minus gamma a square p naught m v naught into x. Here, we know that a for the SHM omega square minus omega square x is equal to minus gamma a square p naught m v naught x. x, x cancel out, minus, minus cancel out. And then omega can be written as root gamma a square p naught upon m v naught. Okay, and what is the value of omega? 2 pi and the frequency. We have calculated the frequency. So 2 pi nu is equal to root gamma a square p naught m v naught. Then frequency is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root gamma a square p naught m v naught. This is the answer for the frequency and let's see which option is matched here. Here option C is correct. 1 upon 2 pi root gamma a square p naught m v naught. Okay, I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.